Hello, gentlemen and ladies. I saw this old legacy tank sitting here on what used to be a oil production site. I thought you guys might find this interesting. I stopped to look at it just to satisfy my own curiosity. I thought maybe you guys would be interested in looking at it with me. Let me show you the nameplate. That's probably the most one of the most interesting things has the manufacturer and where it was built and then when Sibyls Tank Incorporated Odessa, Texas built in 1956 notice the specifics 15 foot 6 inches by 16 feet tall bottom quarter inch thick Shell, 3 sixteenths thick. Deck, that's the roof to most people. The deck is 3 sixteenths. Has a serial number of 8491. Yeah, 1956. It's an old tank. It's been sitting here probably unused for who knows how long. 30, maybe 40 years. But, uh, thought I'd show it to you kind of interesting it has one of my favorite features on a small tank with a flush clean out it's got a split cover they do this that way you can take the top portion off and empty and clean a portion of the tank before you have to commit to taking the entire uh, flush clean out off and open it up um, thought I'd show it to you because it's pretty neat has some pretty extreme peaking and banding well the banding's not so bad but the the peaking is quite extreme quite extreme it's a hand welded weld yep. hand welded weld notice the floor plate or bottom plate extension is quite short and I'm not sure the cause, but if you look here at the the bottom plate extension or floor plate extension, it's actually got a burr from a rolled edge. I don't know if that was from original manufacturing or what, but it's definitely had something consistently rubbing against the bottom edge. I wish I had a sweep board with me i'd show you guys how extreme that peaking is that peaking is quite extreme i i'm not sure if the camera is picking that up let's see if i can show how how extreme that is it's uh quite extreme quite extreme i i would say just eyeballing it it's probably an inch and a half out which for a 15 and a half foot diameter tank is quite extreme. The banding is, is hard to see also. In some spots, it looks pretty good, but in others, it's, it's banded pretty extreme. It's probably not showing up. It's got some right here. Like I said, doesn't really show up real well on the camera, but to stand here in person you can see it quite well the peaking is the one that's rather extreme notice in typical in typical upstream fashion all the connections on the tank are threaded this one's a three inch threaded collar without a repad the one on the other side of the tank is four inch threaded that's the one I want to show you guys walk around here and show it to you because it's rather dramatic and graphic those aren't illusions to your eyes those are actual honest to goodness corroded through shell holes there's one down there and 
You see there's a whole line of them over here. I don't know when this tank was tanked out of service, but I'll bet it's been decades. Pretty impressive. I actually saw it from the road driving by and turned around to come back and look at it. I mean, I knew it had to be an old tank just looking at the the red color underneath the silver coming through. Most assuredly, that's a red oxide lead coating underneath a silver, aluminum silver top coat that has long started to fade away. Long, long faded away. Anyway, I thought you guys might find this interesting. I know I do. And uh, well, because I don't get much feedback, I have no idea what interests you guys. So I just keep making videos of stuff that interests me. Anyway, thanks for coming along. I know most of you don't actually make it to the end of my videos. And that's fine. There's that peaked vert seam right there. The other vert seams aren't near as bad. That one there. Anyway, like I said, thanks for coming along. I'll edit this down to a more manageable video. Get it down to a length maybe you guys will suffer through. Probably not. You guys seem to only watch about 45 seconds of a video, even if it is six or seven minutes long. Anyway, like I say, thanks for coming along. Have a good day. Bye.